was. That wasn't the case. This was an express from 125th Street. So that train was traveling at 60 miles an hour when it hit the car. Was there anything about the evacuation? That I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there wasn't much damage from the second car back uh, other than perhaps smoke coming in. Uh, but there didn't appear to be any fire damage in the second car or anything from the others. Everything that I saw was from and contained in that front car. And how about in terms of there being train conductors on the train itself? Is it the same amount of manpower as normally? Or was from what I've been told, yeah. I mean, I'll have to ask the MTA the specifics on that. From what I understand, there was an engineer and one conductor. Do you know anything about response times? There was some concern from uh, passengers saying it did seem to take a long time for anyone to come around and tell them what to do. That I don't know. I mean, the emergency response was, was quick. Is it your estimation that the fatalities and the injuries were largely the result of the fire and the smoke and not so much the impact? I think the fire and the smoke were probably the major part of that. Uh, from what I was told, there were 10 seriously injured people that were transported to Westchester Medical Center, which is the trauma center. Uh, there were two others that were transported that were not serious or life-threatening. Uh, so that would be 12 injured along with uh, the seven that, that died. I believe one person was transported to Phelps. Twelve injuries, ten serious. Any, any word on um, any No, not at this point. The medical examiner was on scene. They were taking out the bodies. This is the second major Metro North accident in the last 14 months. As you mentioned, there are a lot of people who from Westchester County maybe worried about safety. What, what do you say to them? You know, you look, you ex when you get on the train to go to work or to come home, you expect to, to arrive safely at home or at work. Um, you know, the, the accident that uh, happened near Spite and Dival was different. Uh, this appears to have been not the conductor or engineer's fault. This appears to have been a driver's fault. But, you know, that's, uh, that's all part of the investigation. And I think that's the knee-jerk reaction right now. Everything was basically charred, mm -hmm. so it was a uh, just a complete burned out scene. You don't know if there were bodies in there at that time. Or not. I don't know. Uh, the ME was on site. I I got there about seven. Just left maybe 20 minutes ago. The ME was still on scene. So I think what they'll probably do again is go through the train to make sure uh, second and third and fourth time, which they've been doing. Um, you know, I don't know what they're going to uncover. I, I pray there's nobody else. Have you heard anything about there being an accident on the Taconic and maybe she was trying to avoid that? There was an accident, a head-on collision. I don't think it was in the same spot, though. It was in a different location. Did that have anything to do with this at all? I don't, I don't know. We're all about fatalities in the front car of the train? I believe everything was in the front, in the lead, lead car, yeah. The train did not derail in any way, either. It was on the tracks. And there was no one else in the, in the, in the car in the, the, the vehicle? As far as I know, no. There was only one, one person. to southeast. Yeah. I don't know who sat where. You know, as a former commuter, most people are a creature of habit. They go in and sit in the same seat and on the same train ride to or from work. Um, and you just sort of go into your own world where you, you know, catch up on email, listen to your iPod, read the papers. Uh, and then all of a sudden the world changed. And, uh, you know, I, I just can't imagine what it was like 
at impact and when that plane went, when the uh, train went on fire because uh, it must have been pure panic and with the flames, with the third rail and with the smoke, like I said, I, I'm just amazed that anyone got out. Is there anything you can say about the woman and the age or No, or at this point, no, no, no IDs yet. I don't. There was about 650 total on the ride home. So I, I, I can't remember if it was six or eight cars. I, I don't remember how many were on that one. I think it was eight, but I'm not sure. So it was full. You know, and oftentimes on a full train, you've got people standing, too. The two minor injuries, did they also go to the same hospital? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they were taken, you know, 11, I guess 11 of the 12 were taken to the medical center and one was taken to Phelps. I think all the serious were taken to, uh, to the medical center. That's the trauma. Um, we'll probably brief again in the morning at some point and we'll work with the MTA throughout the night on the uh, contingency plans. As soon as we get information, you know, I'm sure people are waking up not knowing what, what's going to happen with the, uh, the Metro North. So we'll uh, we'll work with the MTA there's chairman and president in the governor's office. There's media uh, parked outside the Carmen Factory. Is there any kind of conference that's going to take place at the hospital? That I don't know. That I don't know. Do you have any plan for us to go to the Western Medical to meet any of the? We're probably going to stop by quickly. And I'll probably go back to the scene at the uh, the train and then regroup. So there's 11 taken to Westchester. Yes. Correct. Okay, thank you.